Okay, this one was probably one of the most fun questions I've done in quite a while. I just love how intuitive it can be, but also brings together a couple of different things. And it's just a fun question. I mean, it's a toy that we may or may not have played with. I don't know. But it's still fun. All right, so uh, the statement reads, A familiar toy consists of donut-shaped permanent magnets magnetized parallel to the axis, which slide frictionlessly on a vertical rod. Treat the magnets as dipoles with mass MD and dipole M. A. If you put two back-to-back -back magnets on a rod, the upper one will float in magnet float, the magnetic force upward bouncing a gravitational force downward. At what height Z does it float? B. If I now add a third magnet parallel to the bottom one, what is the ratio of the two heights? Alright, here we go with our diagram. We have the two magnets on case A that repel one another, and one of them floats. But if we do the same thing here, now we have uh, three magnet or three rings, and two of them balance, and we're looking for the ratio of the height. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right. So since we're treating these as dipoles, we know what the field of a dipole is, and then we can find a force. All right. So we plug these in, we see that we're acting parallel to the axis, so the theta is zero. And we see here that we have to change the R hat into its uh, X, Y, Z uh, counterparts. But again, since theta is zero, we are left with only one component, namely the Z hat component, which is what we're expecting. All right, so after that, we see we're multiplying through by a factor of two, and we reduce them as such. Next, we dot, take the dot product of M2 with B1, and we then find the force of it. Note that the gradient, again, is only with respect to the Z direction. So after all that, we end up with 3 mu naught M squared over 2 pi Z to the fourth Z hat. All right, so this is the magnetic force pushing upward on the upper magnet. It balances out the gravitational force downward. So by using... Uh, the sum of forces and adding up everything, we know that we're not moving, so they sum to zero, but the two forces are the magnetic force and gravitational, and we see here that we can quickly find Z after the summation. Um, yeah, you just got to multiply that Z to the fourth over, divide by MDG, like you see there, and then take the fourth root, and you're good to go. Pretty simple on that one. Now you got a fun one coming up. All right, so for B, the middle magnet is repelled upward by the lower magnet and downward by the upper magnet. So the sum of forces on that one would yield two magnetic forces, which we found last slide, and a gravitational force. Okay, so we got downward, downward, upward, and that's one set of equations because, again, we're not moving, so the sum to zero. Then the top magnet is repelled upward by the middle magnet and attracted downward by the lower magnet. But we also have the force of gravity on it. So that's why we have um, two magnetic forces again. But here we have X plus Y due to what's happening with the bottom magnet. All right. Fair enough. So to find the ratio, let's subtract these two equations. Uh, since they both sum to zero and see what we can cancel. Clearly the gravitational force cancels. And now we just have a lot of uh, cleaning up to do. If we factor out the 3 mu naught m squared over 2 pi, then we're just left with the distances in the bracket. But we know that we can divide up that coefficient in the front, since the other side is 0, cleaning it up. And we can combine to see that we have the uh, two copies of 1 over uh, y to the 4th. And that was just a matter of plain cleanup on it. You move the 2 y to the 4th to the other side. You multiply through. You see that 2 is equal to all these things. Um... Yeah, and then you just play a whole bunch of cleanup, 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 cleanup. Um, and then after you algebraically clean it up to show that 2 is equal to this ratio, which at that point you get a sub away. This looks like an expansion as well. And we solve for the ratio via Mathematica, and we see that the ratio is equal to 0 0.85, 0, 0.115. You can put as many as you want. But the whole setup and process of this was just really fun to see a bunch of these physical tools coming together. Plus, who wouldn't want one of these toys in their office?